did Zach actually sleep with Connie, or is that just what they want us to think? I said, no, Zach, don't do it. I said, don't do it. Look, the moment she came to the hospital, I was like, it's going to be some mess. And then Fatima handled it better than I expected her. You know, we've seen Fatima just fly off the handle and just, we've seen how she did Deja. We've seen, you know, when she was defending um, Andy in the parking lot. we just seen her. I said, she done calm down a little bit. She definitely calmed down because I thought she was going to handle Connie at the hospital. But she didn't. She just walked away. But hey, y'all, welcome back to another video with Life of Chester. This is for Tyler Perry's The Team of Season 2, Episode 9, and um, Season 2, Episode 10, the mid-season finale review. Okay, so the episode starts off with Zach. He's just everybody at the dinner table. You got Zach, you got Fatima, you got Dr. Reed, you got Bryce, you got Angela. So Zach just looking at everybody, they introducing themselves. And, well, before they got to the table, they was introducing themselves. And he's like, hi, I'm Dr. Reed. And Angela, she was like, oh, Angela, and all that stuff. And I said... <laughs> I said, y'all just told on y'all right then and there. And Fatima should have just be, been honest. And I said, Angela told her that, that Zach wasn't going to like um, that about the fact that Paul introduced her to Dr. Reed. But yeah, I, I said, how you told him that this Angela friend, how he don't know his friend name? Like, <laughs> how he don't? So he's just looking at stuff. And Zach just was like, he finna go. He like, okay, he not doing this. He finna leave and everything. So he ends up asking, you know, what's going on? He want to know what's going on. Fatima tells Zach that she actually invited Dr. Reed. He a therapist. He asked if this was a trick. So you tricked me. He's like, you tricked me and everything. And she's like, no, I didn't trick you and everything. And he says, um, so he the only one at the table that need help? Angela was like, no, Bryce do too. And I said, well, all four of y'all need help, actually. But look, Dr. Reed, he was patient. I was like, at first I was skeptical because, you know, he was Paul's friend. Zach is right. Um, Paul was trying to put the moves on Fatima but I was like he seemed legit to me and I said he was doing fine on episode 10 he was doing fine he was Zach was opening up a little bit about his hurt and everything then he said he don't like to lie to his uh clients and everything so he's like Paul is my friend uh he introduced he the reason why he there basically and everything I said I said, no. I said, you're doing so well. I get it, though, because I, I would rather you be honest as well. But, Zach, look, don't cuss the man out. But let me not get too far ahead. But, yeah, um, Angela said, no, Bryce do, too. He need help, too, because he ain't tell about trying to stick his tongue down Zach's throat. And, look, that just both. Look, everybody just. <laughs> Fatima, why didn't Dr. Reed? He was telling Angela about herself. He even mentioned Bryce a little bit. He told Zach. But he didn't say nothing about Fatima. He should have brought up the fact that she lied. She brought him there through a lie. And just, she was lying the whole time, deceiving. So he should have brought that up as well. But so they finally start to talk. Well, Bryce starts to talk because Angela was asking him about, you know, um, his preferences and what he liked. And he said he into a lot of things. He liked girls. He liked guys. He liked to swing. He was hoping that the four of them could all get to swing and switch roles or something. I said, look, Rice, what kind of... <laughs> I don't know how they're going to move past this. I don't know because now you probably going to be like, okay, is he thinking about it now in regards to Zach? But then he mentioned he wanted to swing. He he thought all four of them could be into that stuff. And I said, what? So they basically trying to break down how the thing with Bryce and Zach happened because, you know, Zach said that he would take Bryce's brain and put it in for team body and somehow they got misconstrued or whatever. But yeah, he talking about the four of them. And then Zach was like, no. Zach and Fatima both was like, no. And he was like, they sleep with each other. And they ain't even doing that right now. And Fatima was like, right. So that's part of the problem because they're not sleeping together. But again, I said it in the last video. I said he had like they hadn't been doing stuff uh, for months or something or weeks. He, They literally just got to sleeping together. He just wanted like when he wanted and stuff. And I was like, it would be different, a different conversation if they had did it in a long, long time. But you literally get just got through. Like, what? I don't like that wasn't written correctly. Now, they could have been said they had been going without weeks and then they would have had a. They would have had to deal with that. But they literally was in the shower and everything, and that's when she stopped. So it wasn't like it's been a long, long time. It's just the amount of times he wanted to do it. But um, and then there's something he's going to have to work on. And I heard Dr. Reed mention something like that as well about um, when you're dealing with that, you start to sleep around with this person and that person. Because you could tell that, you know, he used to sleeping around because he wanted to do it that many times. And then he mentioned Deja and just all this other stuff. And I was like, it'd be different. I would, like, there'd be a topic then because why why, why you want to sleep with me? But he's talking about 
They just got through. But um, let me see. He said he into plus size women because he got a fetish for plus size women and everything. And Angela was basically like, all right, I'm going to head out. Y'all know the SpongeBob me? All right, I'm going to head out. <laughs> so Dr. Reed told them all of them are talking, but no one is hearing them because they put out mixed messages. I ain't spelled it right. I said mix. Like mix when you miss somebody. I said mixed messages. Let me scratch that out. Hold on. Uh, yeah, he's like, they, and he forgot to mention, like, they ain't, I guess he did kind of mention it. None of them will communicate with who they should be communicating with. Like I said, your friend's going to be your friend. Look, and we ain't going to even start on Zach friends over here because, look, the second half of season two, they're going to have to do something about their friends because they don't, they don't make me mad. Then, um, what's his name? they going to say, I think we messed up. I think I messed up because he's like, honey, on this stuff. She on this stuff. So, I'm tripping on how. The lady Gladys just got out the hospital, and they was like, "Yeah, we just seen your mama. We just seen her. She look good." And y'all didn't think to call him. He at the hospital. Y'all know he at the hospital. Y'all sit all the day up, and now I'm like, "Oh, Gladys swears she seen Zach uh, sleeping with her, with uh Cunny." But I said, "I don't know. Maybe he didn't. Maybe he just want to seek his hood for Tima. Maybe he was going to, but he th- he just he in a different space now with Fatima and I was like look his friends may be mad cause they did way too much cause Tony was for being a flip flopper again but Nate the main one then somebody said I think we missed her I think I missed her yeah you did but um it's up to Jack to set them straight so Dr. Reed starts to talk to Zach and he basically was telling him because of his absent father, he was trying to fill that void. So he probably was just showing his appreciation towards Bryce and Bryce took it the wrong. He took his gratitude differently. And he said, um, you see things from a different perspective than him. It's okay to dis- agree to disagree. You know, basically trying to get them to see he could have read that wrong. Zach could have read that wrong, you know, but they still like, uh, Bryce over here, we're going to get on him because he, I don't think him and Angela, the, the way they was talking, she was like, if it was, what she said, if it was just another man, maybe. I said, girl, you crazy. But then she turned around and said she can't deal with her dude like the same thing. She like, or whatever. So I was like, girl, I, was, I don't think that's finished. I don't think they storyline finished. It should be, but I doubt it. Um, yeah, he's basically just telling them they couldn't agree to disagree. He tells Angela that she have all those clothing and all this design and all this stuff. She's confident, but she insecure and she hiding her hurt. It's some type of hurt she's faced and she's trying to hide it through, um, through just how she dressed, the makeup, all this other stuff. He says none of them actually saying how they feel. And Fatima was like, he, she was like, I said how I feel. And Zach was like, no, you don't. Uh, she was like, I take time to process it. And he was like, basically telling them, that's a problem because you never speak in the moment. I mean, I've learned the hard way that sometimes it's good not to speak in the moment because you can't, once you say stuff, you can't take it back. No matter how much you apologize and all that, you already don't said it. So that's, I think that's kind of a good thing to process it versus just saying stuff you don't mean. Because then now when you say stuff, because... It's society says that if somebody says, if you say that you must have stick it in the whole sign or all that, but that's not always the case. Sometimes you just blurt out stuff when you're angry. When you're angry and you're seeing red, ain't no telling what you blurt out. So I don't know. I think it's it's down in the middle. It could be either or. But yeah, um, he told them that he has bad news. They ain't gonna make. They ain't gonna make it. You know, cause they can't communicate. If they don't put away the child voice inside of them and let the adult talk, they ain't gonna make it. And even after that, they still was bickering. They would talk for a brief second, and then they just won't communicate. And like I said, at the hospital, but we're going to get to that part when we get on episode 10, I was like, dog, he was he was opening up about everything. He should have waited to say, well, I mean, I think Zach would have had that reaction regardless, especially with dealing with everything in regards to his mama. And look, she over here just insulting. She insulting the mess out of uh, Fatima. Calling her the B word and everything. I said, Fatima, she still was patient. She still was respectful. I also wonder what they had to tell her, what her parents had to tell Fatima. But yeah, um, Dr. Reed says he's willing to talk if they are. But if not, he had his feel. Tony is a, everybody leaves. Tony is a calling Zach to come play basketball. I said, don't you go over there. I said, this is not the time to be hanging with your messy friends. I said, don't you go over there. This will be the perfect time for them to try to communicate. Not did the squad. He fun to go play basketball with them messy doggone friends. She over here calling Angela. Angela called. I think I, one of them called the other. Zach and Fatima still not communicating. Um, 
she did try to talk to him, but he was like, he got to go and everything. Angela tells Bryce this ain't going to work. They can be friends. Tells him if he want to do his swing and thing, he can. It's like, she basically setting him free and everything. He asked Angela if she sends Sean. He started, this is what I'll be talking about with him. He started to question her, talking about, you see that guy that was over here, and he get, like, mad. I said, I said you got a lot of nerve. Nigga try to hide the fact that you into all this stuff and try to, I don't know. You lied through a mission. <laughs> but I don't know. Uh, Why well, I keep saying I don't know? But yeah, he's like, you see, is this because of Sean? You saying Sean? But I said Bryce one of them people you got to watch, though. He got, he one of them people you got to watch. Because how he act and how he act like he ain't did nothing or said nothing. I said he one of those. Angela asked for her key back. He gives it to her. But he ends up spending the night because, you know, he was, he was just, he don't... <laughs> He's turning them back. I said, I don't know. Uh, hopefully, uh, he seemed like he'll be a good character, though. He just need to get his stuff together. <laughs> but Fatima says, so we're not going to talk about this um, when she was talking to Zach. And she said she she only did it because she was desperate. She was desperate. Cause, but she's seeing it from one side. He's seeing it from one side. They're not seeing it together. They went from being able to communicate and just lean on each other to now. And I think a lot of that has to do with outside forces and as well as inside i say inside because this is your inner circle these people you've been grew up with these people you trust you know they your best friends of course they your inner circle they're not outside they outside the relationship but they not at the same time because they over here feeling y'all both of y'all heads up with stuff angela what did she tell fatima uh they going to play basketball but i'm gonna say that i'm gonna say that next i don't want to skip ahead let me see where i stopped it um, yeah, she was talking to Zach, so we're not going to talk about this. She said that she did it because she was desperate. She tells him her mother wants them at dinner tomorrow, and he basically, no, he ain't going. He said he wasn't going or whatever. He ended up showing up anyway. But, um, she ends up on, getting on the phone with Angela. She asks about Zach and everything. She said he going to play basketball. And she's like, you you trust that and everything? They ain't going to say that Fatima don't trust Zach. And I said, you, you... <laughs> These friends, I don't understand. Look, I'm trying to root for at least one. I was trying to root for Tony. I was having hope that Angela was going to be a good friend. But Angela throw a whole lot of rocks. She, like, she'll be on one side. Like, uh, I know y'all don't see shows or cartoons where, like I said before, she got the angel on one side, you got the devil. She, that, she'll be one side, she, she the angel. Next time, she she the devil. <laughs> like, she had to, she was right about the, not telling uh, about Paul introducing her to Dr. Reed or being responsible for the Dr. Reed thing. But everything else, look, it's so much that they didn't talk about. And we're going to address it. I'm going to do a live later. I don't know what time. But I'm going to do a live, a whole separate video. A live, a live stream on StreamYard or whatever to talk about this. Because it's so much that they didn't address. So hopefully they address it during the other half of season two. But um, let's see. Nate, Zach, you know, going over there. Uh, playing basketball in there. Wait, did he? Yeah. Nate was talking about something. You hurt my feelings. So is that he hurt his feelings? I said, I almost said it. I almost said it. <laughs> I was about to say a few in your feelings. <laughs> I was about to say a few in your feelings. <laughs> I'm sick of Nate. No. Look. Which one? I need to do a, a YouTube short. Which one y'all dislike more? Nate or Jeremiah? I can't stand him. How you gonna bring your mom over there and like deal with your mother? And just blowing smoke, smoking? I said, Fatima need to have him. That's who she need to have Madam get. Because I'm sick of him. <laughs> I'm sick of him. Or she need to handle him herself. I'm sick of him. And Zach be acting so scary when it comes to him. Why you acting scary because of him? You want to be angry at everybody else except him. <laughs> Yeah, he done brought it over here to deal with your mother. And just walk in. I, I had to. Look, Zach going to eventually. Something going to make Zach eventually go off on him or hit him. Because he going to deserve it. Watch. But, um, let's see. Yeah, Nate was talking about some Zach hurt his feelings. He talking about Zach ain't been happy. He, oh, you just ain't been happy. I'm trying to make sure you be happy. And then, here come Connie. Uh, wait, did she come then or did she come later? I think she came later at the hospital. But he, he was like, what would he do if Connie came to the house? I said, please let her come. But even at the hospital, maybe she didn't want to cause a scene. Maybe she just, I don't know. But I was like, Fatima don't slow down a little bit because the, she ain't, she ain't do nothing. Connie over here look, making little jokes and making crazy. Talking about, look, talking about some, um, basically saying that she always the one he could come back to and all this other stuff. And I said, ooh, that would have been, she would have had the, uh-uh. I said, that's usually, I said, Fatima's slowing down, I guess. You know, it, but it's crazy because of how it's written. Um, how they writing Fatima. I don't know which way they going with her. But, yeah, um, 
I said, isn't that disrespectful to his relationship? In that moment, he spoke been shut them up. He spoke been well, like, uh-uh. Y'all ain't going to continue. If we're going to continue to be friends, y'all not going to disrespect for Tima. I don't want to hear nothing else about no Connie. Oh, he entertained Connie. He entertained Deja. I said, look, if y'all want them to, if this is supposed to be Zatima. This ain't no Zatima. This is Zach and Fatima. Separate. And everybody and they friends. And they friends and stuff. And I said, look, because, uh-uh. They ain't supposed to, you ain't supposed to entertain their foolishness, but he is. Tony and they both see they able to do and say whatever because Zach ain't holding them accountable. He's not telling them, you ain't going to do this, that's disrespectful, stop that. Um, none of, nothing. Uh, so Zach ends up going home. He tells Fatima he knows she want to smell him to see if he really been playing basketball. Because he ain't went got in the bed. She was like, you been playing basketball? You all sweaty and stuff. You need to get in the shower first. And he's like, well, come on. I know. Do what you do or something. Trying to see if he been with a girl or whatever. So somebody knocked and banged on the door. I was like, it's. I knew it was going to be. I thought it was going to be just uh, Gladys, Zach Mama or whatever. Because I had seen a, a photo. They showed a photo of her. She was, but she was in something. I think she was in a different outfit though. She was at the door. She was outside their house or something. She was somewhere. As, I think Zach was talking to her. I guess it's gonna be on the second half because they didn't show that either. And Fatima got up and he was like, "What are you doing?" He, and she was like, "She finna go see who it is." And he was like, "No, he the man of the house. He's supposed to go check and all this stuff." And he told her that she been single for so long. She don't know how to let a man be a man and just protect her and look out for her and all this stuff. So they go downstairs, and it's Jeremiah banging on the door. Tells that take care of your mother, and then he walks in, and in walks. Well, she was walking in Gladys, and she bloody, and you can just tell she on this stuff or whatever. So she falls out, and look, look, Zach started freaking. Zach get it, get how he get when it comes to his mother, like protect. Them. Remember when he rough? Uh, I ain't gonna say rough them up. He pushed Bryce against the wall when he was talking about his mama. I was like, I don't know what that's called, but I'm sure it's a term for what it's called because it's like he don't want nobody touching him, being around. He don't. He ain't want for team there. He was just. I'm like, she just trying to be nice and help your mama, even though she keep disrespecting her. Cause she knows she says she has a problem, and she's just trying to help this man. It's like he don't need her help. He don't need nobody help. All this other stuff. And I was like, uh, uh-uh. uh. I was like, I don't know. But that part of the episode ended with you know she was on the ground. Uh, Gladys was on the ground. Zach was just, he was emotional and just, they trying to see what's going on. Is she okay? So, this is the part for uh, Tyler Perry's team of season two, episode 10. The episode continues. Zach gets for team to help him put his mom on the couch. Jeremiah over there doing diddly freaking squat. I said, I can't stand him. I said, I can't stand him. <laughs> him and Nate. Him and Nate. But I think I dislike Jeremiah more than I dislike Nate. And Nate, we see Nate more than we see Jeremiah. But I just, um, no. No. Um, so yeah, they put on the couch. Jeremiah leaves. He just leaves. And he, Zach, I think Zach was asking him for help. He gonna leave. I said, I can't stand him. So, Fatima's trying to help. And Zach, mama gonna insult Fatima. Says she took, you took, ah, Jeremiah told me about you. You took Zach money and you trying to keep him from coming to see me. I said, well, he just got, I, I'm confused. Cause she brought her a Karen and I was like, how long? Cause I thought he didn't fool with his folks. Uh, how I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. If she just said that. I don't know. I guess maybe we'll see um a backstory or something, but we never really do. So we just probably gonna hear about it. But yeah, she was calling for Team B word, and she said she like I like Karen. Where's Karen? She like Karen. I said. <laughs> I was in the, I'm like, look, but I know she under the influence. Is that what they call it when they, is it, they, do they just say under the influence when they been drinking or when they been smoking this stuff too? I don't know. She under the influence. So Fatima's still not taking it personal. Um, Fatima's still by Zay's side. He's still trying to get her to leave because they at the hospital at this point. They at the hospital. Um, they, she's talking about helping his mom. She need help. And she, he was like, she got to want help. She got to want help and everything. And he just started trying to get her to leave. And he shouldn't for Tima out and tell her to leave. He tells her to go to just do one thing he asking her to do. So she she uh, she uh leaves. She don't leave yet, but she calls Dr. Reed. I said, oh. For Tima said, she getting emotional too. Uh, she's telling Dr. Reed about Zach Mama, what happened. And he's like, should he come down? He going to come down anyways. Um, 
But he was basically telling Fatima what Zach said that he embarrassed. He don't want Fatima to see that whole situation. He's embarrassed and everything. That's what it was about. And she was like, that's what Zach said too. They cut back to Bryce and Angela, you know, like I said, he had spent the night. He had spent the night because he had, he was drunk. He was drunk. So he apologizes to Angela, still asking her if she gonna change her mind. He's still asking her if she gonna change <laughs> if she gonna change her mind. The thing that I learned, because usually this is part where I'll be like, I'll be like, You crazy, what's wrong with you? You you swinging, you go swing into some mess. So I'm gonna say, I'm gonna be judgmental and say uh-uh that's nasty why would you uh you need to stick to whoever one person but one thing i learned the hard way is people gonna like what they like they're gonna be into what they into stay in your place stay in your lane so for bryce i was like angel but not get mixed up in it because he's already told you his truth so she's like so one person would never be enough for you i was like girl if you don't get him <laughs> take the hit he said he like the swing he said he don't like labels anytime somebody said they don't like labels y'all already know it's gonna be something it's gonna be something but I learned, like I said, I think uh, Chico Bean, if you know Chico Bean from Wild and Out, he explained it best. He said he let folks, he let his women know up front what it's going to be. They ain't never fully be together, all this stuff. And I said, I can't judge him for it because he's honest. How many times has people taken away your right to choose if you wanted to deal with their foolishness? So Bryce just told her finally because of the doctor and everything. But well, he finally told her. So if she could she continues to be with him thinking that he going to choose only her. Oh, I could convince him to change and all this other stuff. That's going to be on her. It's going to be on her because she allowed it. She heard his truth and she still was like questioning it. So I was like, I don't think they over, but we'll see. Cause he's still talking about Sean and who they got. It was here. But uh, she was like, uh, this Fatima, she's calling and all that stuff. So he leaves, he ends up leaving. And Fatima calls Angela again, telling bitch that she shouldn't be telling about Zach mama and what happened. But yeah, they show Zach. He just going through it. He emotional. Dr. Reed ends up showing up. And he's reminded Zach that Fatima loves him. And he, Dr. Reed actually gets him to open up. I said, he actually got him to open up. And I said, Dr. Reed seems legit. I was questioning him and uh, at first, but I was like, he seemed legit. Like a real, like he could help, them. like he could, ever, oh, Jesus. Like he could actually help them. We got to wait and see, though, because sometimes looks are deceiving, you know. Appearance is deceiving. He could eventually try to hook Fatima up with Paul. We don't know yet. We don't know yet. And I said, if if Zach did, didn't sleep with Connie, he need to tell Fatima before she go do something crazy, too. Because, look, hurt people hurt people. Maybe she won't do it, but you know how they go. Then they're going to be in, be in an even bigger situation. But, uh, yeah, he tell, Dr. Reed tells Zach that he's sabotaged, basically, based on past hurt. He got he got to change the voice he hears in his head because you know he's he was talking about how he was little and you know the choices everything that happened with his mama, um how he had a good moment but it it changed. Oh, I forgot to give me some chicken noodle soup. I'm so random. <laughs> That's what I forgot. Some chicken noodle soup. Um, but um, <laughs> he's like saying that basically anytime something good come, he think it's gone. Is he think he's gonna leave? So he self sabotage. I said that's a lot of people, boy. Boo, that's a boo, <laughs> boy. That's a lot of people who self sabotage. They be like, uh, uh-uh. uh, it's too good to be true. And then they start do stuff. Even with, and I didn't write this part down. When Zach got over there to Fatima parents' house, he was like, he going back to where he belong and all that stuff. And I said, you no longer belong there. That's where a lot of people mess up at. You no longer belong there. You no longer belong there. But um. Yeah, he told him he basically got to change the voice he hears in his head. Then Dr. Reed brought up the elevator. I said, oh, my goodness. I said, oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> oh, my goodness. <laughs> I said, oh, my goodness. I said, he brought up the elevator. And Zach started looking. And he was like, uh, he said, how you know about that? And he was like, uh, I think he said Fatima told him. He seen the video. It's online. No, he said he brought up. He said the the situation, the elevator with Paul. And I said, "Oh Lord, he was doing so well." I understand though, because you can't go into stuff lying. Because then they're gonna be like, "I can't trust you," because you lied. You lied. You had the opportunity to tell the truth. You allowed me to learn it from somebody else, and that's a problem. But yeah, I said, "Oh my goodness, I knew it was going downhill." Then I hate that Zach did and said what he said though. The um, then he told. That he knows Paul. He's like, I don't like the lot of my clients. He said, I don't like the lot of my clients. He knows Paul. He a friend. Once Zach heard that, it was a whip. He cursed the doc out. He cursed him out. He cursed him out. 
<laughs> he told him, you, you ain't my, you, I ain't your client, I ain't this, you ain't that. Uh, talking to us, I'm on the street, this and that. And I said, Zach, Zach, Zach. Hopefully he ends up apologizing, but we'll see. So then his no good friends, his bogus homeboys end up coming. And I said, how Zach allow his bogus homeboys to stay at the hospital but push Fatima away? Push Fatima and the doctor away. Two people trying to help him improve or get better. They trying to keep him the same. They trying to keep on the same. Like, and, ah, I can't wait to do this live, y'all. I need to write down some questions and notes and all this stuff. <laughs> but uh, then they brought Connie. He did not tell Connie to leave. She over here chilling and stuff. Then he was like, they was like, she was like, she, cause she'll stay with him uh, and everything. They could go and they end up leaving. So she just leaning on him. He not correcting it, nothing. And I said, I hope for team to show up. I said, hope. For team to show up. And she did. And I said, Zach foolish. Zach, Zach, Zach. Um, uh, what else? Did the doctor come after or before Fatima came? But the doctor came to say that Zach mama checked herself out. No, that was after. Yeah, because Fatima showed up. And she was like, really? She get to stay? I had to leave, but she stayed. It kind of just making little jokes. And um, I think she, she called Fatima a different name. Just talking about how she always the one he come to. They they just friend. I'm a friend. This, all this stuff. I was like, smack her. <laughs> I was like, smack her. I was like, uh, her time coming, though. Because she going to overstep again because Zach allowed her to feel like she got that power over Fatima. And in fact, no self-respect because you know he's engaged. And you cool with this? I don't know. Ugh. But yeah, that's when the doctor came. Fatima ends up leaving. She's like, oh, okay. And she leaves. So the doctor comes and says, his mama. She's like, you back? Y'all back? He's like, what? And she was like, your mama checked herself out. So Zach ends up showing up in Fatima's parent house. They begin questioning him. But he basically beat them to the point. Started talking about everything that happened with him. His mama. All this stuff. And he basically tells them off and leaves. And Fatima, I said, go with him, Fatima. I said, go after him, Fatima. That's your chance. Get up. It doesn't matter if they're your parents right now. You're engaged to him. This one be your future husband. Um, You start now. You start now. I said, get up. Go after him. I mean, I don't think he probably wouldn't have talked to her then, but at least he would see that you're trying. You sat there. And then, like, I'm about to go and all this stuff. Then they was, like, trying to tell her, basically, he ain't the one. And then when she leaves, they was like, we had to tell her. And I said, what they had to tell her? I said, wait a minute now. What's going on? I'm like, I'm confused. What, 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 what they got to tell her? <laughs> Cause, uh, I was like, okay, is this about her daddy? It's the dude, the stepdaddy, the real daddy? Or the, the, I don't know. Like, what was that? I'm trying to figure it out. Cause they was like, we got to tell her. And I said, look, we ain't dealt with team abortion. We ain't she ain't told Zach. She ain't told about the mama. Ian mama wanted her to come to dinner. I guess we just ain't going to learn about that. We ain't hear no more about, I guess it is the mid-season for now, so we still got time. He has to tell her that they just trying to sue her. Well, them, because first she said Fatima. Then she ended up saying uh, both of them. So, yeah, I guess we'll see it in the second half. But, look, this, hopefully they don't take too long. They should have already filmed it, right? They just got to air it. Some people think it's going to be like in June or so. But then they said sisters will come back on then. So we'll see. Um, let's see. Uh, Zach, I think I said Zach said he's going to go where he belongs, basically, or where he came from. He goes where Tony, Cun Tony, Cunny, and Nate at. He goes where they at. And he was like, uh, they was like, we just seen your mama. She looked good. Look like she's doing better. I said, what? <laughs> and they the problem. Like, uh-uh. You, she just get, how she doing better? And she literally just got out the hospital. She ain't went through no program, no nothing. But this fool asked Connie to come on serious with him. So she goes, she goes or whatever. Then they, Nate and Tony start talking about Connie. And they was like, she act different or he thinks she on this stuff. He like, I think we messed up. I think go tell Tony he think kind of using. He think he messed up. I said, you definitely messed up, sir. And now he gonna be. It's gonna be this whole thing where, oh, I'm, he's so apologetic. I didn't know. Oh, I was just. I just wanted you to remain the same. All this other stuff. No, he showed you who he was. Especially Nate. I get Tony to benefit of that a little bit, just a little bit, just a little bit. But as for Nate, he gotta go. They keep trying to. You trying to elevate? They keep trying to bring you back to who you was and where you was. That's gonna be a problem. 
Especially since you was talking about how everything you went through and you elevating and they want you to go back to that. No, conversation is needed. I mean, Nate need to go for sure. But Tony got to be talked to. Angela got to be talked to. Angela she might as well go too because she just is up there with Belinda at this point. But especially Nate and uh, Belinda. Nate and Belinda. But um, what else? There's a knock on the door at uh, Zach and Fatima house. And it's Gladys. And she was looking for Zach. She need money. She need 50 I think she said $50. I said, Lord Jesus. So uh, maybe they'll do a storyline when she actually get better or something. But uh, she comes. She look for Zach. She's like, I know he was just with Cut. She came. She came for the money. But she also came to just say that stuff. To be messy. I think she came to be messy as well. <laughs> oh, uh-uh. No, she came. She's talking about something. Uh, Zach, I know he was with Connie. I thought he would have been back by now. I thought he'd be back by now. So then Zach shows up. And Gladys was talking about something. Yeah, uh, give me some money. And he was like, I ain't give you no money. And they're like, all right, I'm going to tell him. I just saw you having sex with, with Connie. You and Connie were having sex. So she ended up leaving because he didn't give the money. I don't think he gave the money. For, for taking a question to him, what's she talking about? What happened? Did you sleep with her? He didn't say not, not a nothing. He ain't said nothing about if he did or if he didn't. And that's why I said maybe he actually didn't this time. I said this time. Maybe he actually didn't sleep with her. He just wanted Fatima to think that. But uh, he doesn't say anything. So Fatima says she done. And she leaves. And he just let her leave. I said, no. Go after her. People just be, look, they don't be wanting it. They will just let you leave and won't come, won't communicate, won't try to fix nothing. Just let it. Even though they still have those feelings. Even though they still think that you the one. And they think they ready for marriage. I was like, look, uh-uh. So much happened, but so little happened at the same time. I said, look, um, Zach should have listened to the advice. He just told you that they was trying to break you up. Now you don't win. I said, I hope he didn't. I hope he got there and he was like, it shouldn't have got to that point. But I was like, oh, hopefully he got there and he was like, no, I can't do this. I can't do her like that. But they want to study to try to make it seem like Fatima wants Zach money. And I said, first of all, Deja want his money. Honey, if she using, like they said she is, she's going to want his money. And then he going to really see who was really there on the phone. And I was like, duh, why they do them like this? Last, I mean, it is the mid-season. I was about to say last season, it ended with them arg- well, finding out about the DNA test results. Now, this mess. But it is the second, I mean, we got the second half left, so we'll see y'all. But let me know down below. Did y'all watch the mid-season finale? What did y'all think? Was it good? Was it bad? Is there something that happened that you dislike? Um, <laughs> do you think that Zach actually slept with Connie? Um, until next time, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Deuces.